Hey guys, I did a quick uh, video today on my Dodge Challenger and did a windshield repair kit. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know. I'll be happy to answer your questions. Uh, I apologize for the audio. Um, some of it's a little spotty because of my camera set in the wrong setting, but please bear with me. Thank you. This is what I got off of Amazon. I don't know how well or how bad this is going to be, but we will see what how it's going to be. So, oh, it came with its own razor blade and everything. Look at that. Alright, so I pretty much know how to do this now, I believe. Um, first things first, I need to put this on the actual windshield. So what we're going to do, we have a sticky side on this side, and we got a sticky side on this side. This is going to be here, as you can see. And then, we will cut this to put some of the resin in it but first i'm gonna stick this to the actual windshield but before we do that we need to use this alcohol pad so what i'm gonna do is i can get this stupid thing off i'll clean the spot for this first that dry and I'm actually going to keep this for a minute and then when that dries we're going to put this on and put the hole directly in line with this we leave this part up because that's where your nozzle is going to stick on and so it's going to be pointing up toward the roof of the car instead of down, so you won't get the stuff on your paint. Do not get the stuff on your paint. All right, so, so as you see, we're going to stick this on here. You got the little small hole in the center. And then we're going to get ready to put the plastic piece on. So, this is going to stick to the top of this. So bear with me. Make sure you press down super hard because you don't want this, you want this to be completely airtight. Completely. Alright. See this is stuck to the windshield now. As you can see. Owl here. I'm actually gonna put it down here. Just in case anything spills, you won't get anything on your car. So what we're going to do, we're going to cut this thing maybe a quarter inch back, just enough to cut the, the lid off it. And I'm not going to use a whole lot of this because I don't have a very big hole in my windshield. So I'm going to squeeze about, make sure it don't come out of the hole either. <laughs> Put this in the actual hole. I'm going to put some more in there.
Alright, that should be close to enough, I believe. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the syringe we're going to pull it all the way up and then we're going to lock it into position and we're going to let it gonna sit there for 10 minutes. After that 10 minutes, one, two. drop this down just a notch. So you got to turn it. So now we're going to leave it halfway for 20 minutes. 20 minutes. All right, so we are going to push this all the way down. There should be nothing in there. Hopefully, be able to take this thing off. We're going to try putting this little piece on there too. See how well that works. Then we're going to pull it out and see if the sun will cure it. guys we are going to take this off and see what it looks like kind of just peel out the resin and we're gonna scrape it off with the dang razor blade A little better, not fantastic, but let's see what it looks like inside. Yeah, it's better. You can't even see that. Well, it did better than I expected it to do, I guess. That's about all you could say. I might clean this windshield afterwards. It just kind of helped prevent that thing from spreading too. We don't want to. I really don't want to have a crack. Well, that is how we do the. Uh, Permatex windshield repair kit from Amazon. I'll put a link in the description below if you want. Like I said, I didn't really have a big rock chip in there. It's a small one, so I mean, it is what it is. You can you can see. Let me get a close up. Wow, it's pretty small now. You can barely even tell. But uh, yeah. If you want to know where I got this from, it's like fourteen dollars on Amazon. It may save you some money in the long run.
and it's supposed to be up to an inch and a quarter diameter holes. Mine was like a sixteenth of an inch. So I appreciate y'all watching this video. Um, please subscribe to my channel, and if you want to see more videos related to stuff I'm doing on my Challenger, let me know. And I think soon I'm going to tell you, give you an update on this black spoiler I installed about a year ago. So I'll tell you how it's holding up, and if you want any more information on how to install that, let me know. Thank you guys for watching.